<laughs> oh, I, I just want to thank you for a perfectly marvelous evening. Well, it was my pleasure. Just throw that old thing over on the chair there. <laughs> and I'll go out and make us a little snack. Oh, wait, I think I better cut out, because i got to get a good night's sleep tonight. Well, now, if you'll just stick around for a few minutes, I'll fix you something that will help you sleep. What's that? A cup of hot chocolate. Oh, I'd like that. <laughs> some of my uh, favorite albums. Oh, well, uh, who, who you got? Oh, Frank Sinatra, Jack Jones, Andy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not too much of a record fan. <laughs> oh, why don't you just turn on the radio then? <clears throat> All right. Everybody falls in love somehow. Something in your kiss just told me That sometime is now Well, if I had you in my power I'd arrange for every girl to have your charm <laughs> Then every minute, every hour Every boy would find what I found in your arms Well, everybody loves somebody sometimes mm -hmm. There's no telling where Oh, boy, this makes me so mad What? You even sing better than he does <laughs> Just prejudice. No, leave it to Hollywood to make a star out of the one with the least talent. Now, let's not get bitter. Maybe Dean doesn't have a lot of talent. Maybe he has been lucky, but it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Well, I guess he does have his good points. Hmm. And now, folks, we interrupt our music to bring you a news bulletin. Tonight, a real-life drama took place in the making of a motion picture. A horse ran away with Dean Martin's leading lady. And she was rescued by the heroic action of Dean Martin's double, Eddie Feldman. Well, no wonder you sing better than he does. <laughs> now, look, honey. Eddie Feldman is a wonderful guy, and he found out he had to work tonight. And if he broke this engagement with you, you'd think he was some kind of a Hollywood phony, so I offered to take his place, that's all. Why didn't you tell me you were Dean Martin right off the bat? I'd have gone out with you anyway. <laughs> been a very lovely evening. I had a very nice time, but under the circumstances, I certainly can't accept this. And why not? <laughs> For one thing, you're married. You should give it to your wife. Well, sorry, Lucy, but you're stuck with it. Why? Well, if I took that home to my wife, she'd think I did something. 